Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Wilton. Today I wanted to talk about uh, an answer to a question I get so much. And I don't know why it's wait I've waited so long to remember to talk about this because it's a perfect little thing for these video posts. It has to do with the edges of your paintings. Um, you know, we all work on different surfaces and different supports. I would like to work on wood panels. Now you can, you know, people do whatever they want, but often there's this edge uh, that's that's you know, that's an edge of your support. And sometimes it's thicker, sometimes it's not. You know, you can get them different widths or whatever. Um, my panels are wood, and for a lot of people, stretcher bars are wood and the canvas wraps around it and such. But um, the question is, do you paint them or not, or how do you treat them? So uh, there is no answer, really, what you should or shouldn't do, obviously. But I'll tell you what I do, because, um, I don't know, it kind of wor has worked for me. I um, I do paint the edges, but, um, and you can see, so what I do is, uh, you know, when I'm painting the board, when I'm, when I'm painting, this painting, this is old, but it, it might have turned out, um, maybe it was dark red or whatever, but as I'm painting it, I tend to paint the edges too, especially when I start to understand what the primary color is gonna be. Like, this color's really light, it's this background, it's mostly a white, creamy color painting. So I just paint the edges that way as well. And um, I also, you know, towards the end, I will surface the edges the same way so they don't feel particularly diff that different. Like if I just painted these raw paint, it would feel different than the surface because all my surfaces are kind of worn. I sand them, and there's glazing. So I sort of do a similar treatment on the, on the sides of it so it's not distracting. And that's really, that's really the, the overarching idea is like you, I think you want to do the sides um, so they become like part of the object, but it's not distracting. You know, like if I made this black, you'd have this high contrast thing where it'd be kind of weird. Or if you wrote your name down here, unless you wanted to draw your attention to the edges, which I don't, um, that's why I do this. So if you want to draw attention to the edges, you know, go for it and paint it whatever you want, obviously. But that's how I handle it. And so I don't have to frame my work. All of them are just done this way. And so like on this is a dark painting, for example, this is a really big dark painting, and you can see the edges, the edges are, um, they're just gray as well, but they're surface. They're, I spent some time making these edges feel like the surface of the painting, to feel like this. They were just plain old gray, and then I've added some washes and stuff to make them integrate. Um, uh, I, I, and I don't have to frame it as a result. So it's kind of, it's kind of cool. And I used to, I used to just have, you know, I would leave them raw for a long time and I'd have all my painted fingerprints, um, all over the sides and real, a real mess. And I kind of liked it. I used to just leave it. It's like, well, that's just my marks that are on the side. And, but it was kind of distracting and people, I would get a lot of comments about the marks and I wasn't really interested in in the sides of the painting, so I stopped doing that. But you know, it's you can do whatever you want. It, obviously, it's just you know, kind of your preference. Um, but that's how I do it. And I just want to let you on in on a little secret that I do that I it saves me some time is I never do. I mean, I did on this one. On small ones, I paint all the sides. But on big ones, I never paint the bottom edge. I leave it totally raw because no one ever looks there. <laughs> and I've never gotten caught, so don't tell anyone, but it is, it doesn't matter, I just leave it. And it's like, if I ever get caught, I'll be like, well, I just like to have it there because it's sort of like, it shows the raw wood and there's a history, but no one's looking underneath your painting. So that saves you 25% of the time. Uh, underneath, the, uh, you know, this is the top, I always do the top, I do the two sides, but down there underneath the painting, it's raw, dirty, and it's got hair stuck under there. So I just leave it like that. So anyway, you can do that, and I've never gotten caught, you know, probably will now, but anyway. Okay, thanks a lot.